Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel where we always talk about health. My name is Sally, I'm a clinician. If you are new to this channel, please remember to subscribe. And for those who have subscribed, thanks so much for your support. Uh, today's episode, I'm going to talk about uh, the questions that many people have been asking me about why does P2 fail? So today I decided let me answer you this question because I think it's fairly so important for you to understand and to know why P2 fails so that you can be able to know when to take it. So uh, the first reason and the most common reason why P2 fails is when you take P2 during all of the ovulation. What is ovulation? Ovulation is the process where the mature mature egg is being released from the ovary to meet the sperm. So when you take P2 and, and the, the mature egg have, have already been released, P2 won't work because the work of P2 is to delay the ovulation. P2 has a progesterone hormone, lepinogestral hormone, which works on draining the ovulation. So when you take P2 during ovulation or after ovulation, the P2 won't work because the ovulation has already taken place. So it's very important to know that to know as lady when you are ovulating so that you can know when to take the p2 and when you should not take the p2 uh, and in my my videos you can you can learn on how to calculate the ov uh, the ovulation days and you can be able to calculate your cycle so that you can know when you are, when you are ovulating and when you are not ovulating so that's the most common reason why p2 fails and the second reason why p2 fails is disobedient of the instruction. Uh, there's a, all these are leaflet in the pack of P2 which has instruction. When you disobey those instructions, demonstrate it will fail. For example, uh, in the leaflet, uh, in the leaflet, it says that you should take P2 within 72 hours. When you take P2 beyond 72 hours, definitely you get pregnant. So it's fairly important to uh, to obey the instruction given. Uh, another reason why P2 fails is when you take P2 and you are, you are already pregnant. There are some people think that when you take P2, uh, it will cause miscarriage or abortion. P2 is not uh, an abortion pill. P2 it is it's only prevent from being pregnant, not a uh, uh, not an abortion pill. So when you are pregnant and then you take P2, it won't, nothing will happen. So it's very important to learn that when you have P2, it's not an abortion pill. So definitely it won't work. Nothing will work. Another reason why P2 fails is when you, you are vomiting. For example, you can take P2, then you vomit. And then you just ignore, you ignore it. Uh, when you take P2, then you form it, definitely you do to work because the drug is not in you. So when you form it, uh, you should go and buy another P2 or another emergency pill so that it can replace the, the one that you have already formatted. Another reason why P2 fails is because P2 is not 100% effective. Don't think that because you have taken P2, it will definitely work. No. P2, P2 is not had the percent effective so just know that you be you may be one of unlucky person when you take p2 then you get pregnant so it's very important to to know that p2 is not 100 percent effective and as i had explained in my previous episode about which i talked about p2 uh, about the percentage about the effectiveness the area you take the p2 the more effective it is so when you take p2 earlier or immediately after having unprotected sex the effectiveness of it is very high so the earlier you take the p2 the more effective it is uh, there is also a theory about taking p2 when you are taking long-term medication it's very important when you are taking long-term medication to seek doctor advice about P2 because some some drugs may interfere with the P2 and then you find yourself pregnant. So it's very important to go and seek uh, you seek an advice from a, a doctor. 
Another reason why sometimes people may fail when you're taking some antibiotic, for example, uh, an antibiotic that can can affect the effectiveness of OP2, it is rifampicin. So when you are taking rifampicin and you want to take P2, it's very important to go and ask advice from the doctor. Uh, that's all I have for today. Uh, and please, if you are new to the channel, please remember to subscribe. Bye.